Hello guys, Shubham here back again. So on our channel, we always make sure to review ROMs which is something new in the market and also hold some new performance and some customization. Just like that again, we have such ROM running on Android 13 and also an official build. So the ROM is called as the Superior OS which is running on Android 13, specially made for POCO F1. So without any further ado, let's get into it and see what this ROM holds for us. So as usual, the very first time, let's move into the system information. Navigating in the settings and about phone section, you will see that this is running on the latest build of the Superior OS and of 5th of April Android security patch and this is direct that's pretty much obvious now moving further let's talk about the superior os customizations so they have got this section called as superior lab and clicking on that you will get this miniature small animation where you can see this test tube or something getting filled and that's look pretty cute and this is the list view type of view you will actually get where all the customizations are mentioned Rest all the content of customizations and settings are same as you get in all the other Android 13 ROMs. Let me set this font to Google Sans and moving further you will get all the options with respect to theming and you are good to go to use any of it and it doesn't have any type of issues with it. So talking about the overall section of the customizations then you will get this list view and uh, to be honest view is something which is not that preferable in my opinion because you will get a huge list and you won't be able to find everything at one place so for me it's not something really really convincing but surely they made sure that to include all the customizations options and that's something really nice in miscellaneous you will get all the options such as unlimited photo storage via google photos and unlock higher fps so that's something really good that's all about the customization from superior os as the superior lab also moving further you will get some android 13 based customization in launcher where, where you will be able to customize all the home settings such as home screen rotation and everything else so that works pretty much fine and you won't face any issues with it again this is also a generic customization which you find in all android 13 roms moving forward in widgets then you will get all the widgets this famous widget which is a clock one so you just can set any widget you want and you are good to go so that's all about the customizations with respect to the superior OS and some other Android 13 based customizations. Moving further, you will get some pretty small changes such as these small small animations with respect to volume rocker buttons and this is something really good and little bit of difference you can see with respect to and uh, as compared to other ROMs. So that's all about it. Now let's play some games that is the gaming performance of this ROM. So talking about the gaming performance then they have actually included game space separately in the ROM itself like an application. Clicking on that you will get all the options which you prefer and you can set it right from here. Over here you can see that I have added the BGMI and I have set preferred mode as the performance and also enabled the angle as experimental. So now. Without any further ado, let's jump into the gameplay of BJMI and see how this ROM actually works. On launching the game, you will see that the FPS counter on the extreme right top side and here we go. So in my opinion, the gameplay of BJMI was pretty much nice. You won't face any type of issues and you will get good kind of gameplay. You will also be able to record your gameplay right from the settings when you enable and also you will to do a whole lot of this from the gameplay options itself just like you get in other roms so yes in terms of gaming too this rom will surface your need and you won't be able to face any kind of issues with it such as lag or stutter so in terms of gaming too this rom is good for gaming and you won't face any such issues and it's totally good for it now moving further let's talk about the battery performance so talking about the battery performance then once charged 200% then you will get about 6 to 7 hours of screen on time. 
this battery percentage can differ from user to user and also if you have replaced your battery or not for me it works for about 5 to 6 or last to last at 7 hours but if you are a person you play games often and you need a whole lot of power then this might differ and also you might face like 4 to 5 hours of screen on time but in terms of battery too this rom is something pretty much satisfactory now let's talk about this safety net check or better called as the CTS bypass. So this is a safety net check application and on checking you will see that the safety net check gets bypassed out of the box. That means you will get safety net check bypassed and you can use all the finance and banking applications without any issues. There is no need to flash magic explicitly on this ROM and you are good to go to use all applications. So in terms of safety net check, kudos to the team. Now let's snap some photos that is the Gcam compatibility. So talk about the stock camera in this ROM then you will get this generic camera. You guys have already know this camera which doesn't hold much of the features. But there's no need to worry as you will get all the limited features in this camera but as you know the drill what we usually do. You will be able to install the Gcam of version 8.7 or even the lower or even the higher one which is the 8.8. And you will be able to snap the pretty, pretty crisp photos and also shoot videos without any issues. Every option and everything works on the Gcam such as the full HD 108p up to the 4K 60fps of video. Make sure that you don't enable 8K or the camera app might crash or won't work. So in terms of photography section 2 you can install Gcam of your choice and you are good to go after setting the all of the stuffs as per your need and all the configuration. You will see that all the features is working fine on this camera application and there is no need to use the stock camera which they offer with this ROM itself. So that's something good. So yes, in terms of camera and photography, this ROM supports all types of Gcam and you won't face any type of issues or you won't be getting any crashes or stutter or lag in while using the application. So that's how about it. Now let's move to the security in this ROM and also direct sound in answer. So talking about the security then you will get the face unlock which is the IR face unlock out of the box. This is something really good as nowadays every Android 13 ROM is getting face unlock which is the IR one and hardly there's any ROM which don't have this feature and that's worked pretty much fine and even the fingerprint unlock works pretty much smooth and you won't be able to find any type of issues with it. Talking about the sound section then you will get something inside it which is called as the detect sound setting but uh, it's disabled as of now but surely you will get the me sound or the direct sound in answer where you can just customize the sound as per your preference and you will get some thumping sound or music you listen to. So in terms of sound system too, this ROM will fulfill all your needs and that's something really really good. Now let's talk about the unnumbers that is the Antutu scores. In this ROM, the Antutu score is clocked at something 3,41,090. So in my opinion, this score is something kind of obvious and as I say, don't rely much on numbers even I don't do but for those who really want to see that at what stage and at what is the score that this uh, ROM gets clocked at so this is for them. So yes, this is all about the end of the benchmarks. Now let's jump to the conclusion that is my final words. So talking about this ROM then I have used this ROM for almost a week and I haven't faced any type of issues with it. Being an official build and also the superior OS is something which I previously used while it was on the Android 12 and at that time too that worked pretty much fine and also it was the best ROM at that time. Same with the Android 13 build you can actually rely on this ROM in terms of the daily usage but if you are a person who really likes to play a whole lot of games then this ROM will not fulfill the battery needs you really want. It will go up to 4 to 5 hours of screen on time and that's it. Living that this ROM is best for the person who do some social media stuff and some normal stuff in day to day life. 
so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming until then see you guys again in the next one till then peace out